What's up, YouTube Tenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here. And in today's video, I'm going to be testing this knife, the Roxxon S502 Fantasy Exchanger Blade. The reason I call it an exchanger blade is because there are various blades for this knife that can be swapped out. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight to the testing, and afterwards, I will give you my thoughts. Enjoy the video. Well guys, I think that test footage pretty much speaks for itself. And as you saw in that footage, I did some cutting on some cardboard and then on a piece of dry, very dry, dead wood. So, how do I think the Roxxon S502 Fantasy held up with its drop point blade? Well, I think it held up incredibly well especially when you consider that the blade steel is 5CR15 MOV. But to be fair, let's test it on a piece of paper, printer paper. This is 120 GSM paper. Let's see how the blade held up. Will it still cut paper after going through a bunch of cardboard and chopping, um, cutting on some wood, not chopping, but cutting? Let's see. Well, it does, but I can tell you, using my recording light, that it has lost a significant amount of edge. It does still cut, but nowhere near as good. So that just shows that 5CR15 MOV is in fact a relatively soft steel. And in fact, I can feel but there is actually a chink in the blade. And you can see here, it's really, really rough cuts, bordering on tears. But that honestly is to be expected. This, will, this knife will need resharpening. That being said, there is no obvious damage to the blade, no obvious damage to the edge, maybe a slight roll near the tip, but given what I did to this blade, and given it is a really soft Chinese stainless steel 5CR15 MOV, I think it held up pretty well. Now, does it hold up as well as something like a Kershaw? 
No, but a Kershaw uses a slightly different stainless steel, still Chinese, and one you're probably more familiar with, 8CR13 MOV. There are also some Schrade knives that use yet another variant of these Chinese stainless steels, which is 9CR18 MOV. Also, the Lansky World Legal uses that steel. But considering what I put this through, I was expecting the edge to be far worse than it was. Yes, it is a bit rough now, but it does in fact still cut. There are a few minor rolls on the edge that I can feel. You definitely can't see them on the footage, but I definitely feel them. That being said, this is a really, really cost-effective knife. This is a $17 knife. The, the Roxxon S502 Fantasy, it does have various blades that you can get with it. So the fact that the blades are made out of softer steels doesn't really bother me. Replacement blades are $6.99 individually. That's $6.99 individually, seven, say $7.00. And I think $20 for a pack of three different blades. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this test footage of the Roxxon S502 Fantasy set up with the drop point blade. And as usual, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment and share. And remember, be good to each other. Thank <laughs> you.